Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this look using just one lipstick. So the one lipstick is on my eyes, cheeks, and lips obviously. Um, I'm first starting out with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer and then going in with my It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Medium Tan. I'm using a It Cosmetics foundation brush that I picked up recently because my Morphe one was kind of like shedding a lot so I just decided to get a new one and it works fairly well. And I love the CC cream, as you might already know. I'm now using this 5-in-1 turmeric concealer from Julep. I don't know the actual name of it, but it has a really nice natural finish. And it feels very lightweight on the skin while being pretty full coverage, like a good medium coverage concealer. Um, but I just love how it feels and how it looks on the skin. I think that the color match is pretty good for me. I picked it up when it was an additional 30% off at Ulta the other day. Um, they had a bunch of hot buys the other day so I picked up a few things and one of them being this concealer. I am now priming my eyes with a Lorac primer. I just wanted something that was going to be translucent because I wanted really like the only color on my eyelids to be the lipstick shade that I'm going to be using. I'm now going to fill in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Definer, and I believe this is in the shade Dark Brown. Um, I just got my brows done by the Brow Bar at Ulta by Jennifer in Waverly. She did such a good job. I love how they came out. I also waxed my mustache earlier that day, um, so I'm just adding a little bit more concealer there because it was a little red. Now I'm going in with the Benefit Quickie Contour Stick, the Hoola Quickie Contour. I really want them to come out with more shades of this. I would love to use a darker shade, um, but we'll see what the future holds for us. I am blending that out with my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I just love how this brush blends out cream contour, as you might already know, especially if you watched my complete guide to the no makeup makeup look if you haven't i highly suggest you go ahead and watch it there's a lot of really helpful tips in that video i'll go ahead and link it down below now i'm taking the mac cream color base in the shade shell and i'm going to press that into my skin using the beauty blender just going to put it on the high points of my face so while I have this moment, I did want to thank all of my new subscribers. I recently hit 5,000 and that was such a big milestone for me. I know a lot of you guys came from the Romwe haul and I just wanted to thank you guys and let you guys know that I did place an order at Shein, so expect a video of that very soon. So now for the fun part, I'm taking a MAC lipstick in the shade Taupe and I'm applying it directly to the eyes. It's fairly easy to work with a lipstick on the eyes. It's just like working with a cream shadow. I like working with the natural hair brushes the best for this process. I feel like uh, synthetic hairs would, wouldn't grip the product as well as a natural hair brush would. So that's what I'm using and I'm also going to be using my fingers a little bit too. Um, so I was using a regular flat eyeshadow brush to pack on the color and now I am using a fluffy blending brush to add color into the crease and deepen things up a little bit. I do go back and forth um, with more color and then a brush with nothing on it and then I do add a color with my fingers as well um, just to build things up, add intensity where I want it to and making sure everything is really nice and blended. Um, when picking a shade for a look like this, I went ahead and just picked my all-time favorite lipstick, which is MAC Taupe. It's just my favorite. It works so well on my skin tone, I think, um, and I just I love it. It's like my go-to lipstick. But I went ahead and picked that because I knew that it would also look good on the cheeks and the eyes. I love that like kind of burnt red brown orange kind of look on the eyes I think it's very flattering on me um, and I also knew that it would work really well on the cheeks because I've had to use it on the cheeks before in like a little time crunch I just needed some color in my face and I had to use it on the cheeks but 
Um, oh, and then um, now I'm just taking some of that uh, MAC shell that I used earlier and popping a little bit on the lid just to add some extra shine and a uh, little bit uh, brightness to the look. And I'm just setting uh, everything with this new uh, powder from Tarte. It's not new, but it's new to me. Um, it's their Shape Tape uh, baking powder. I really like it. It's so nice and smooth and it uh, it just works really well on the skin. I like it a lot. I am now taking the lipstick, putting a little bit of it on the back of my hand and then applying it with my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush, which is my favorite brush to apply any sort of cream blush with. I think it works so well and making sure the color gets distributed evenly and nice and blended out and like presses really nice into the skin. I love adding a little bit of color to my nose. I think it's very cute. Um, but I think pressing it in the back of your hand first and then collecting the product that way, it just helps warm up the lipstick so that it goes on um, nice and creamy. A lot of lip shades and blush shades can work interchangeably um, just because of the natural colors in our skin. So don't be afraid to try a look like this. I think that you would be surprised by the results and how flattering a look like this can be. I'm just taking some more of the MAC Taupe on my finger just to make the color as intense as possible on the lid. Now I'm going in with Lancome's Muncier Big Mascara, just coating my lashes with it. It does get a little bit clumpy, but I freaking love this mascara. To handle the clumpiness, I'm going through my lashes with the Glossier Lash Slick and I love this mascara for like an everyday quick kind of look. I think it's so, so nice. They did such a good job on it. I am now just applying the lipstick, MAC Taupe, on my lips. I love this shade so much. I think that it's such a flattering shade on me and I think it would be such a flattering shade on so many different skin tones. Definitely Pick this one up if you have similar coloring to me. I think you would love it. Just setting everything with my Urban Decay All Nighter spray. And I'm coating my eyebrows with some brow gel from ColourPop. But other than that, the look is done. Definitely grab your favorite lipstick and recreate this look. I think that you would really like how it came out. Again, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I'm very thankful for all my new subscribers. If you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and do so, and hopefully I see you next time.